How's it going? I'm Tom Henry from Mainline Overland. Today we're going to take a look at iCampers. Uh, we have an iCamper SkyCamper 2.0 here. We're going to take it from box to fully deployed. So first, we want to take a look at what iCampers come in. They, they have a very unique packaging too. Um, so the iCampers come in what looks like an OLED TV box. And that's because iCamper wants to make sure these campers arrive safely. Um, they're packed in a vertically packed uh, pallet uh, to the residents in the home and they want to make sure that they're treated fragilely. Um, so they put them in these interesting boxes, they even say HDMI in them and other things like that. Um, and it makes for an interesting packaging uh, when it arrives on your doorstep. So that's actually what they're trying to do. They're trying to make sure that these campers arrive safely and so they're, they're using some unique packaging um, to, and kind of smart moves uh, to make that happen. So let's open up the box and see what's inside and then we're gonna set it up here on the Norwell tray. All right, let's check it out. So inside the box, they pack them with a set of mounts. These are these heavy duty mount kits. Put that here for the time being. They also use these, uh, these separate corner protectors. It's a very smart move as well. You've got your user manual inside. We're gonna take all these corner protectors out. sometimes a Rocky Mountain black, which is sort of a polyurea finish. Um, but they use this nice protector here to protect that gel coat finish so it looks as good coming out of the docks as it did when it was being packed. So we're gonna keep this uh, hairnet actually on. Um, Joe here is working the camera. We're gonna take a break for a second. We're gonna pick this up and put it on the Norwell tray and take a look. So we have our air camper out of the box. We've taken off that little uh, protective film uh, uh, netting and we have it laid out. Um, we're simulating putting this onto a truck. Uh, so you're gonna have your platform rack or cr cross members for the load bars, um, and this would be sitting on top of that. So the next thing we wanna do before we introduce uh, you know, other weight, weight distribution for this camper is to affix it to the, to the uh, tray or to the um, load bars. So what we have here, um, we have a set of four mounts that come in that mounting bracket kit. So these mounts are going to be adjustable. You have these vertical um, mounting uh, pieces on the bottom of the camper that run vertically along the camper. So ideally you want a cross member or a horizontal bar that, that's going to, to sandwich these guys. Um, so these guys will slide into place using this top and bottom. And then let's say you have your crossbar. You want to bring them together so they clamp on those cross pieces. Um, you have a set of, uh, you have a tool here for affixing these down uh, and, and clamping this together tight. Um, it has a nice long piece on it so you can reach in there on your, bar, on your racket. So you want to make sure that these pieces are coming together in this orientation so that you have this curved piece uh, on each side on the inside clamping. So that's your setup for all four of these pieces here. And that is how you affix the camper to your, to your load bar or platform deck system. So next we're gonna open this guy up and then we're gonna unfold it and we're gonna see how this deploys. So you can follow me around this side here. So one other thing we want, we're gonna notice about the iCamper, uh, SkyCamper 2.0 is the four person tent, is that it has locking straps that hold the camper down using these uh, aircraft wires and the lock keys. So we've got keys here, we've got two keys. You want to keep your keys in separate locations so you don't lock yourself out of your tent. But once this unlocks here, this is going to open up and allow you to unhook uh, this bottom piece here. I'll pull my edge over a little bit. So this unhooks onto a hook there. So you've got your hook piece and your rubber. And then we're going to undo this guy and take it to the next side. Again, I'm going to pull this out just a little bit so this unhooks. If this is on your roof, it would be a little bit easier. 
we're doing this on our Norweld six foot tray deck here. So we got our camper on latch, both uh, campers or the latches are undone. Next thing we're gonna open it up. So you can see we have our uh, camper top here. We're just gonna lift up gently and you'll feel the gas strut start to take over. We've got gas strut lift assist on the corners here that are allowing the camper to, to come up uh, to lift the weight of the camper. The, the, the gas struts are rated to the camper's lift height. So the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna unstrap this guy and flip open our side entry. So this is a side opening rooftop tent as opposed to the traditional wedge style, um, but it has a flip up. And so we're gonna open that up and As you open up, pops up real nice and quick. So we have a drop down ladder here. It's on this little hinge. This is a telescoping ladder. Um, as you undo this, be careful because it is a little loose. So this will start to un unwind itself and telescope as you go. You want to get this locked into a locking point. You feel how that securely uh, works before you step up into it. In this case, we're just going to let this come down a little bit because we want to have a level surface for our demonstration. Um, so the camper is going to open up. It's going to unfold itself. You can see how it reveals the window, the windows zip out. We have the storms. We have a storm window here made of vinyl and we have a no CM screen here. So open those guys up. We're going to let the camper just air out. When you first get it, you want to kind of let it, let it air out a bit after it's been shipped for a while. So for brevity's sake, I open the tent fly, which is the sort of tarpaulin cover for the tent. And I also open the uh, screen and the main tent body and fold, put them up on these little grommets here, these little uh, ties to hold it. I want to talk about a couple of pieces that are inside the camper. So as you open this up, um, this mattress here will be folded over. We're going to pull that mattress out. It's a two piece. It creates a very large sleeping area inside. You can see we have this really cool insulated globe on the roof of the uh, inside of the camper. You'll be able to see that a little bit better when we open the, the, awning, uh, the awning ports and the windows. So a couple of things that are going to be inside the camper are these guys. So these longer ones here are what you use to take the, the tent fly and hook it in um, to, to create a vestibule area um, for getting in and out of the ladder under cover. So these long guys are for that. And then we have four of the shorter ones here that are the hook points for your windows um, on each side of the camper. So we'll, we'll, we're going to put those together and deploy that. The other thing that you might um, not know uh, right off about what they are, are these little guys. Um, these two pieces, you might wonder what these extra pieces are or something in the camper, are actually um, lockouts for your gas struts. So if you're in higher winds, you can snap these in and have a locking uh, position so that there's no shutter or vibration uh, with the, the gas struts, which have a natural amount of charge in them. Um, so these guys you put into the travel portion of the gas struts and they will lock those gas struts out so you can make sure that that, that tent remains open. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull this, uh, pull this tent fly down. This, you can see, will Velcro into place. It's really good for when you're storing a camper. And uh, grab the two longer pieces here. And we'll start to deploy this. So I always find it easier to put this side in first because this requires the most amount of location. Um, and then we're going to take the underside of the tent fly here and hook the grommet in once that is securely in place down below. That seems to be the easiest way for me to get that up and on there. But we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to hook into this point here. Better not to fight it because these do have some spring to them. I can tell you some terrible stories about me whipping myself in the face with these. So, um, you want to hook that into the grommet in the top. And then you have your opening. So you have a, you have a vestibule area here that allows you to get in and out of the camper, down the ladder, without getting water ingress into this area. So that's nice. Um, things that you can do beyond that to secure would be to Velcro this area down. And then you have a little uh, cleat on the bottom here for this piece of bungee to get that in there. So this is nice and this keeps the wind out as well. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Hook into the Velcro and then hook into the cleat. And that keeps a nice secure area, keeps a little bit of windproofing. 
We kind of make some minor adjustments to this to keep it right on that Velcro. And then we're going to do the side awning points as well. We have these little pieces that are bolted in. We're going to hook into that bolt piece and then hook into the tab in the corner here. Open that up on this up. There we go, that's one end. I'm going to locate the other tab, the other uh, base piece. Just put that in. It's easier to do that when it's not under tension. I'm not going to whip back at you or anything like that. It's always important for safety. And then we're going to locate that piece as well. So that gives us our little shedding for any, any moisture. We can tuck these in. We've got the, the side pieces here, which we can tuck that in. Maybe we'll put up the, the bug screen. So one thing I noticed immediately when I opened this eye camper is the fit and finish. Um, very nice stitching, very even throughout. We've got double stitching on all the edges. Looks like they even have a, a, a separate stitch here for the Velcro that, that locks in, actually creates another stitching layer. Um, they do a really good job of having Velcro on all the edges so things aren't flapping, um, things are not coming up and in on this. This has a nice lip to it that keeps the water out and, and aprons it over the side. So you're not getting water inside the aluminum extruded uh, base pieces. Um, inside you can see, maybe you can see if you get in here and, uh, and get a little light on the subject, that we have a nice insulated roof. We've got this, this uh, global uh, uh, theme going on. Um, inside you can see those gas struts, a very nice gas struts. We use the same kind on our, on our four-wheel campers. Inside these struts, you have a nice little protector here. You can lock out the strut using these pieces here. So this will keep the camper from coming down in a high wind situation. So thanks a lot for checking out this iCamper unboxing and uh, opening demo. Uh, this is an iCamper SkyCamp 2.0 for a four person uh, tent. This is also available in a two person version as well as the iCamper X cover. So plenty of products that iCamper has. There are a couple different colors available for this one. You can find all of this on our online store at mainlineoverland.com in our iCamper collection. So take a look at that. Give us a call at 844-656-7626 with any questions and we can get you going with a new camper.